Anyway, I'm back at Calgary. Yes. And then people talked about the guys in Quebec doing something. It got lots of publicity. And I said, well, we should do theater sports. But I invented a special game because I thought the game was too trivial. Uh, and the game was that I couldn't get these guys to stop blocking. So the game was based on not blocking. Uh, what is on, blocking for anyone who doesn't know? You oh, don't mean stage blocking like where the actors no, walk. No, I mean killing ideas. Killing ideas. Everybody, everybody kills ideas when they start an improvisation and they're negative and they, if they light a fire it rains and puts it out. I mean, they cancel things and they won't use nouns. And mm. Human beings are just like that. Not everywhere in the world it's yeah. exactly the same is to protect themselves against the future, well, against the future's change. Well, the future is pretty scary. Well, the future is going to change us. It certainly changed me for the worse. Oh. oh. Yeah, bad things are waiting for us. <laughs> but also we have insurance and stuff. You know, we're trying to protect ourselves. We don't want to be altered. Mm. And that comes up in improvisation all the time. Well, as dramatic action is one person changes another. And as the improviser don't want to be altered, without good coaching, you'll never see anything happen in an improvisation. Because mm -hmm. nobody's altered. Lots of clever talking, not a lot yeah. of dramatic action. People singing, making up songs. Being funny. Playing games, not being altered. Yeah. Yeah. Misery for me. But I won't go... I mean, I'm well known for never seeing improvisation. Why don't you go see improvisation? Why should or, I? Yeah, well... There's nothing happening. I guess, yes, I mean, I guess people assume because you teach improvisation, you write about it, that you must love it, so you want to go and see it. I love good improvisation. Yeah. I love good theater sports. So I got this feeling I'm going to wake up one day in a strange place. And they say, ah, oh, you've arrived. Mr. Johnstone, we've arrived. Quick, quick, you're just in time for the Theatre Sports Festival. We're going to be a break in 10,000 years, and then I'll know <laughs> I've gone to hell. Oh, no. Yeah. Do you hate theatre sports that much? Yes. Yeah, so Bad what happened? Theater Bad theatre sports. Bad theatre sports. I think, I can't remember, I think the last time I checked in with the ITI, the International Theatre Sports Institute... They're try they're, in theory, they're trying to work to s improve things. Yeah, but is, it, theater sports is played in something like 52 countries, 47 know, countries, something, something like that. Like that. Yeah. It went everywhere. I thought of calling it Kudzo. That sounds good in Japanese. Uh-huh. So what happens then kudzo when... Kudzo is that terrible weed that infects everything and fucks oh. everything up. It's yeah. Kudzo. Oh, yeah, that makes That's sense. That's what it is. What happens to theater sports when it gets further and further away from you. Well, it's or like normal improvisation. They all come, jump on the stage and try and be funny. And they, and they try to make it safe as well, right? So, for example, you have judges that have horns for boring. Yes. To, to kill bad scenes. You can't imagine how difficult that was. At the start, we had, we had three judges. They didn't have car horns, bicycle horns. Mm -hmm. They would give a, a warning for boring, it was called. And then they had three minutes to finish their scene. And every judge had to agree on the warning for boring. Oh. It was like a terrible insult. Sure. And it's Actors don't like to be told they're boring. I know. Yeah. <laughs> and then we gradually, <laughs> gradually altered it and took it down to any one judge. If a judge is bored, chuck him off the stage, I say. Because if the audience is not bored, they'll protest. Which you, know, you like. I like that, sure. Yeah. But, uh, but you can see the judges fiddling around with these bicycle horns they have now. And you know they're desperate to press it. But they're frightened to. So the judges, in fact, are very difficult to get judges to throw teams off. <laughs> and then we got it down to any judge, any time, who's bored. And then we put a red light in front of them. And if... We put people at the back, other improvisers at the back, and the technicians have a button. There are two buttons, one for the 
other improvisers and one for the techies. The techies always know when they're bored. Yes. So they were pressed and the red light flashes. And so they, you know that somebody at the back of the theatre is bored. And even then they won't doubt. Oh, God. It takes guts. It takes courage. It does. To throw the actors off the stage. I used to love judging. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what do you like in bed? Oh, Keith. <laughs> That's a whole other interview. I just had an image of tossing lovers in all directions. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> You're it's describing you, my twenties. You love being a judge. Mm. Uh, well, have, I loved. I loved. Uh, I understood this, the role. Take uh, your mushroom tea there. I tried. Yeah. It's this. It's this weird Amazonian thing. Yeah. If I drink too much, my feet start twitching. Mm. Ah. Whoa, whoa. Well, you you said that you said that you hate theater sports. And no, that, I love theater sports. You, you love you love good, good theater sports. You hate bad. I tell you, in sports. the early days, some of those games and that the whole audience are going crazy. The, the the amount of yeah, I'd recreated the wrestling audience. That must have been thrilling. Yeah, but the content wasn't much better than the wrestling. Ah. The golden age of theater sports is not such a golden age if you look at the movies. Ah. But the audience was splendid. The audience is good, but the content on the stage isn't. So then uh, what do you do to try to improve the content of improvisation? Oh, I invent other forms. Uh -huh. I, I only invent things when I need it. If I need something, I'm always good at inventing something. So you don't see improvisation because nothing's happening? Oh, it's so tedious. It, when I look at it, I wait to see who's going to take control mm -hmm. and who's going to take the control back. And In the so, scene? Yeah, it's so boring when they say, would you like a coffee? And they say, do you have tea? I just find that boring mm -hmm. because they're resisting control. And if you, it's, yeah, and if I haven't trained them, they're all number one animals. So all them, it's like, it's like, Oh, God, the magnif like Magnificent Seven. Yeah. Well, all those actors are trying to be number one, mm -hmm. which is ludicrous. Mm -hmm. So, I, yeah, why should I go to see scene after scene where they're all trying to be number one and they're in competition? And, and trying they, to be funny. And they don't like each other. Yeah. And, and they think every laugh is worth having. And they're scared. I mean, it's the opposite of what I want. want. What do you want? Good nature. Is exhibitions of good nature. I don't want to see all these frightened people on the stage. 